Hey, 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 my name is Pushlings. This is Sweet Voldy High. Let's get to the Grand Pass place. Does it sound weird? Maybe a bit. Well, you know, training, training. I spoke with Grandpa and he agreed I could spend the summer there again. He sounded so excited when I called. It's nice to spend time with family, I guess. So I'm killing time, watching people hurry through the station while I wait for my train. This is freaking exciting. There are a lot of entertainment coming from that, really. The wonderful thing about it being so busy here is that it makes you really look forward to countryside getaways like this. The cool breeze, the mountains and trees. I can feel it like I'm almost there already. This illusion is shattered when a young man in a suit crashed me as he runs off the train. He made a quick apology and then continued on his way. I definitely won't miss that. Yeah, this wonderful view, this wonderful town. I think I've said before, I'd never give up city living and I still stand by that. But wouldn't it be nice to have a place in the country like this? Maybe if me and Nanami have successful cars, we can have a summer home like this together. What am I thinking? Do I really like her? Like, 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 like her? Like, like, like her? I, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, it's been a while. Ayatan, what's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> I might be old, but I'm not dead yet, you know. Grandpa, it's so good to see you. I ran up to him and squeezed him tightly. I really missed his bad jokes and that laugh of his. I know, right? <laughs> not so tight. I, uh, my back ain't what it used to be. How was that trip? Oh, fine. The usual. I'm just so glad to be here. Good. Your mom tells me that the volleyball went well this year. Let's get home, make some tea, and you can tell me all about it. We walk back down the path together to his little home. Which isn't really a little home, let's face it. If That's one room. And I would say that room is... is pretty big one. That's like their living room, right? Well, unless it's somehow making for a bedroom as well or something. But he he said at some point that he was taking a nap and he went to other room, so I guess not. Well, let's continue. Because my thoughts are drifting off again. It was oddly comforting. Green tea and dust. Wait, dust? Grandpa, why is this place so dusty? Have you cleaned at all since I left? Well, you know, I've been busy. Busy with what? You're tired, Grandpa. <laughs> You've got me there. That is going to have to wait. I've got to fix this mess. I ran to the kitchen, closed it, and got out all of the cleaning supplies I could find. Thankfully, there was still a pair of rubber gloves that I could use. Of course, the kitchen was a disaster too. I started cleaning the kitchen from the sink down to the floor before moving on and cleaning the rest of the house. I ended up taking a couple of hours. I made Grandpa help with some of the laundry. I think I'm lucky he did that much. Afterwards, I put the kettle on and prepared some green tea for us, both in the maid room. Oh, tea. Thank you, Ayatan. You're welcome. I was so surprised that you wanted to clean the belly. It didn't seem to bother you that time. I guess after doing all the cleaning last year, I wanted to make a head start this time. Looks like you've made some pretty important changes, Aya. So tell me, how did volleyball do go this year? I proceeded to give him the highlights of the season. Coming back from an overall points deficit against Ku at the fire in the league standings, meeting the girls from the team. I even talked about training, what we did every day, and how I incorporated his lessons into our training sessions. I realized that building strength, fitness and confidence wasn't just good for me, but for the entire team. By the end of the season, I introduced a few simple training d -d 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 drills into our practice sessions. <laughs> Nothing crazy, of course, but I think they help. Whoa, a second place overall, huh? It sounds like you really did a great job. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Well, spending the summer here with you really helped. And I think I'm going to go with Nanami for the team to some professional tryouts. 
Now that is big news. I know, I'm too nervous about trying for the teams, but it's also so exciting. No, no, not that. Nana is more than a teammate, I assume. <laughs> no, but I, do, I do like her a lot. My <laughs> lot to say. This was the first time I think I'd ever admitted it. I was beginning to realize that I had the hots for Nami in a big way. Well, I should be an idiot for to turn down such a beautiful young girl as yourself, I... I'm happy for you. Go and get your goals! Be a professional, enjoy it and get the girl too! At that moment, all I could do was giggle. I'd go, ho 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 ho! I'm pretty sure my face was beat red. I hadn't seriously thought of pursuing Nanami, but... I will, Grandpa. Heh heh heh. Oh ho ho ho! That's my girl. Now go and get us another pot of tea, Rydia. I think I'm going to really enjoy spending time here this summer. <laughs> Good morning, girl. Oh, I don't think I'll ever get used to these early starts for. Good morning, Grandpa. Rise and shine, there's a lot of work to do today. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. That was weird. <laughs> okay, I'll be right there. Only day two. And this summer is already turning out like the last. How did he manage to find more boxes of things to donate? I just don't understand. After this, I've got to run down to the farm to pick up more rice. Then the rocks will need beating again. I doubt they've been down since last year. I have to say for it's a little easier than last time. I carried on doing chores for the rest of the week. It was fine, of course, I'm happy to help out and keep active, but that just it. I was only keeping active now, not growing in strength and fitness like I was before. I said the next day that I'd say something to Grandpa, see if he could help at all. Hmm. Oh, good morning, Gaia. That kettle is just boiling now. Tea for you. Yes, please, Grandpa. Hmm. Grandpa. Yes. I wonder if I could talk to you for a moment. Oh, I know what this is about. Of course, I'll help. Wait, what? How do you know? Oh, ho, 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 ho. I know lots of things, so you won't let me to help, right? Right. Just leave it to Grandpa. Maybe you think because you're a girl, you know what girls like. <laughs> That's not what she was thinking about. What? No, that was not what I meant at all. Oh, well, okay. What did you want help with then? I wanted to see if you could help, could help me train. Train? Yeah, well, last year doing all the chores around the house was great for increasing my fitness level and getting me to stop being so lazy. This year is different. I mean, of course, I don't plan helping, but I feel like I need something more. More? I had to be at my best for the trials, otherwise I won't be able to stand out from the others. Hmm, I see. Okay, I, I show you some of my old fitness routines. They are not easy. You said try started in about four weeks. And time timing you'll have to really work hard. And you will still need to help out here too. I can do it by myself, you know. Of course, I'll do anything. Very good. Let's have some tea and get started, shall we? While we drank tea, Grandpa explained all of the training and conditioning he used to do for his sport. Repeated punches, kicks and throws until his hands were sore. Running with large waves over long distances. Sprinting with intervals. He really knew a lot. It just made me excited to get started. Alright then, Aya, are you ready? All stretched and ready to go? Yep, ready, but um, I have a question. What's that you're holding? Oh, this. It's a riding prop. You know, you whip a horse when it needs to go faster. <laughs> oh, man. Why do you have it? Isn't it obvious if you don't? <laughs> That's just too good. If you don't go fast enough, don't push yourself enough, you'll get one of these. <laughs> Wait, what? Just a little extra motivation. <laughs> 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 
So I want you to start with a sprint. Sprint as far as the big ugly digital road sign over there. Then jog past it until you get past the house. Then come back, sprint until the sign and jog back to me. That's it? That's it. I can do that. Off I go. So I start with a sprint. Then I jog. The distance isn't really that far. Sorry, I tried as hard as I could on the sprinting sessions. I knew this interval training, you explained it to me once. Who cares about him? It's useful for people who play our kind of sport as you stop and start a lot. I made it back to Grandpa, a out of breath. Alright. Again! In a sec. He whips me. Again, he won't improve unless you take this seriously. Okay. In the end, he had me complete the run 25 times. Nice. I was absolutely spent by the end, I had nothing left. There were a couple of times I wanted to give up, whip or no whip. But he said to push through the pain, and so that's what I tried to do. Good job, Ian. Here's some water. Thank you. So remember, remember, small sips. Now you push through a pain barrier. It's good that you learned this. It's what separates good athletes from great athletes. It does. Of course it does. There will be many times in any sport where you're exhausted. Perhaps the other team or other competitor is exhausted too. The winner will be the one that can push through the pain and do what I need to do. No distractions, pure concentration. That's how champions are made. Right, well that's actually true. You did good today, but we'll do more tomorrow. Sometimes there are many times in the day you'll need to push through that pain barrier. You need to be prepared. Right. Let's head home and have some salmon, shall we? It's drunk out here in this heat. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. <sighs> he was drunk about it. The sun was directly above us, casting its rays on every part of me. I could feel the heat on my arms and arms legs every time I took a step. I'm excited for tomorrow, for there is going to be so much more to learn. After that, you might want to rest. A then this afternoon, there is some small stuff that needs doing. Really? Small stuff, like those boxes. Oh ho 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 ho, no, really small stuff. You want me to be a trainer, not a torturer. Well, sometimes trainer needs to be a torturer. So, <clears throat> oh, sorry. So, what are we going to do? We, uh, to do, okay. What are we going to be doing today, Grandpa? Oh, I action. You're not hurting. Uh, I am. Yes, they're, they're really hard. Good. If you ever need a tournament or more, if you make it to the Olympics, you won't always have the time you need to fully rest. So today we are going to do exactly the same thing. Are you serious? Absolutely. I won't take any sass from you either. Are you a man or a mouse? Grandpa, I'm a girl. And the cute one at that, I had ha 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 But in all seriousness, you have to follow my instructions. We'll get you fighting fit and ready for those trials. Yes, sir. So I well, went at it again. Even from the first sprint, my body was screaming at me to stop. But I realized Grandpa was right. It's not like during regular season where there is at least a week between games. During trial seasons, and uh, during trial season, it all happens within two weeks. I need to play my best from the first trial to the last. So I continued to run and run and run. On my 20th flap, I knew I was slowing down. I could see the riding crop in Grandpa's hand. As I approached the line, he tightened his grip. Too slow! As he swung the crop, I immediately jumped to the right, out of arm's reach. No! You are too slow! Hey, if you've got energy to bounce around like a bunny, you've got energy to run. Get going! Yes, sir! It was exhausting, but I could tell it would be all worth it. It would all be worth it. I just have to hang on that dream. Exactly. Here you go, I yeah? some fresh tea. Okay, thanks, Grandpa. I really appreciate it. So, what do you want to do this evening? Well, maybe I should cook for us or something. Oh, a splendid idea. What did you have in mind? Food? Hmm, curry. Yeah, rice and chicken. Always a good combination. Great, I'll get to it. 
I said student get students slicing up the into chunks for the career owner that want life might be like this time next year. Things are already vastly different from what I expected even a year ago. True. I had no idea what I'd be doing. Now I know I want two things more than anything. Volleyball and Nanami. <laughs> well, that sounds good. The longer I spend out here, the more I realize I was miss spending time with her. Uh, I've been sending her mails back and forth a little bit, being apart, maybe realize how much I want to see her. Hmm. I'm... I'm really looking forward to seeing her when I get home. <laughs> Alright, I... <clears throat> Alright, I am ready for today's lesson. I think so. No running today, instead I'm going to teach you Pilates. Pilates? What's that? How do you know what is that? Hmm, it's hard to explain, easier to do. Uh, let's say it's easier to do. So, I'm going to just stand on the grass over there. Good. Now lie down flat on your back. Listen to the instructions carefully, as breathing is very important here, like this in Tai Chi, okay? Now bring your legs straight up. Good. Now bend the knee until your feet are level with the ground. That's it. Next, raise your shoulders and neck up so you can see me. Good. Now keeping your arms straight, I want you to raise them and lower them. Inhale and start raising your arms at four or five counts. Good. Now exhale and lower your arms. That's it. Now keep going until you hit 100. Don't give me that loop. 100. Okay. Good job. How do you feel? Well, that was fast! 100 in a second! My heart is beating like crazy! It's tough doing the emotions with your arms and keeping your legs still! Yep, this exercise is meant to get your blood flowing. We'll do this at the start of every Pilates session. Next, let's try something a little tougher. Grandpa ran me through five different Pilates exercises from leg circles to this weird kicking and swimming kind of motion. I don't think my body has ever moved through these positions before. This is all to work your core muscles, keep your muscles even, and most importantly, improve your breathing technique. The more oxygen you get inside you, the better your muscles are going to work. How did it feel, Aya? Yeah? Really good. I can tell I'm going to be a little sore tomorrow, but it feels great so far. Oh ho 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 ho! It might be more than a little sore. I doubt you've ever worked out like that. But it's okay, we can take a rest day if you need to. Right. Not going to happen. In the end, Grandpa wasn't wrong. I felt older than him the next day. I like, like I could barely move. Bending, moving my legs, everything was stiff and hurt. Over the next few weeks, he trained me in more Pilates, even threw in some yoga poses that were good for breathing, posture and balance like the warrior pose. I could tell this was having a dramatic impact on me. I felt like every muscle I had was becoming rock solid. Like I was fine tuning my muscle engine, ready for the big race. I still truly feel like I was ready. Ready for anything. Ready for tryouts. You've done a great job over the past few weeks, Aya. Is there anything specific you want to do for your last day here? No, nothing specific. Just give up the work. I can tell I'm improving. I just know it. I can tell to I am proud of you. Thanks. And I decided I'm going to confess to Nami when I get home too. Whoa. Oh, well, good for you, Raya. You'll be sure she treats you well. Uh, I'm sure she will. <laughs> Summer came and went in the blink of an eye. I was so focused on training, I didn't get much time to relax, really. Really relax and enjoy the scenery. But that's fine. I don't want to stop the momentum from the end of the season. I want to hit the ground running when I get home. I mean, that's the most important thing right now, not relaxing out here. Tomorrow I'm heading home, I'll miss Grandpa of course, but I'm excited to get started. I'm nervous too, but being nervous is natural, right? A bit, maybe? Alright, huh? he'll be okay from here. Grandpa, I know the way, you didn't have to walk with me. Well, sure I did, I'm going to miss you, Chan. He gave me a huge hug and kissed me on the cheek. As he pulled back, it looked like he had some tears in his eyes. Good luck. Come back next year, okay? I will, Grandpa. I promise. And maybe not alone. Have a safe trip. Get going, or you'll miss your train. <laughs> Goodbye, Grandpa. 
As I watched him walk away, I heard the train sound in its horn in the distance. This is a small country station, so I figured that's probably my train. I'd better get going. Okay, let's roll. Back to the city. Lots of people here, as you roll. To my surprise, I hear a high pitched voice cutting above the hustle and bustle. Hey, Harry, what's the price? How are you? I'm great. How are you? Yeah, going somewhere? Actually, come, come. I spent the summer with my grandpa in the countryside. Wow, lucky! Do you have a good summary? Eh, I suppose I managed to find a job. Oh, is it? I thought you didn't have time for a part time job in the Phoenix. Well, I don't. I'm quitting school. Wow, that's a big step. Sure is, but I'm needed at home. I don't really have much of choice. But hey, now that you're back in town, we should go to the arcade sometime. I like that, we should go when I'm done with my trials. Ah, oh, you're going with Nanami, right? It'll be so much fun! Yeah, yeah, it will be nice. Hey, hey, you know she likes you, right? What, what, what? You mean you haven't noticed? I oh, saw her staring at your... Mm. Harry! <laughs> I got to run, I uh, got to get home. But good luck and call me when your trials are done, okay? Okay, see you soon. Maybe should I should call Nanami tonight? To arrange plans for next week, I you tell her how I feel after all, and we've got trials to do. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe you should leave that after the trial for after the trials, actually. Mom was obviously still waking up when I got home. Busy night last night. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Want me to make something? Get you some aspirin? You're a good girl. Thank you. I went to the kitchen to get the kettle started. I can tell she needs a little pick me up today. She looks awful. How was your trip? It was good. I learned help from Grandpa. I had no idea he was so serious about fitness and stuff. Oh yeah, always oh, tried to get me to join in. Wasn't gonna happen. Well, you clearly didn't need that all that training he's making because, well, let's face it, her body is great. So what's next? You have the trials coming up. Yeah, by starting a couple days. Actually, I've got to call Nami tonight and set everything up. Oh, Nami, hmm? How's that going? Uh, you know, oh my god, is growing up so fast! Stop it, mom! Stop it, mom! Okay, okay, just promise we won't rush into anything, okay? I mean, thankfully, it's not like you can get pregnant, but. <laughs> mom! Drink your tea already! Thanks, Aya. <laughs> She's great. We sat silent for a few moments. I could tell Mom wasn't really in the mood for talking. She then went to the bathroom. Hopefully, she will make her feel better. In the meantime, I should probably give Nanami a call. Aya. Does this mean you're back at home? Yep, sure does. Great. We definitely need to catch up. I agree. We need to sort out things for the trials, right? Well, yeah, but I missed you. We need to really catch up. Mm. Well, okay. What do you have in mind? Uh, uh, yeah, I hadn't thought that far ahead. Well, how about we go for drinks? Eh, uh, yeah. Drinks? You went to a bar? Sure, why not? I went a few times with you, and it was fun. It'll be something for new for us. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, okay, and game. Mail me the others. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, that's surprising. She agreed. Right, have a good night. You too. Oh, well, I mean, now it sounds like we're going on a date. I mean, I was going to tell her my real thing soon, but is it too soon? I just had to try and don't overthink it. I rummaged around in the freezer until I found some salmon I could cook for dinner tonight. As a reminder of my time in the country. Hmm, I'd arranged to meet Nanami near the bar. Eh, I looked it up online. It said it was a good spot for a first date. Which I guess I was secretly hoping it was. It was a warm night out, being the middle of summer, so I didn't eat a jacket. I decided to make myself pretty night, and I even borrowed one of mom's dresses. That was my choice, she insisted. So I made sure to warn Nanami as well. Then from down the street I saw her walking toward me. She was wearing a cute white dress with black ribbons and accents. It suited, her <clears throat> it suited her perfectly and well, she looked stunning in it. 
but you won't show her yet. It was as if dressers were invented just to complement her legs and figure. Then she saw me waving and started to run toward me. She looked happy to see me. But as she got older, she didn't slow down and next thing I knew... She was kissing me right in the middle of the street! Holy crap! At first I was a little confused as to what was happening, but I realized that she liked me too, so I kissed her back. I grabbed her hand and took it in mine, and we kissed again and again. My heart was rising, obviously, racing, obviously. My palms were sweating, I was shaking with excitement. I was kissing her, the girl I'd had a crush on for the past year. After a couple of minutes, Nami looked down at her feet. Sorry, but I knew if I didn't do it right away, I'd be too nervous. I'm okay with that. You're silly, but how did you know? How did I know? Know what? Well, that I like to do. Her cheeks flushed red again. She's awfully easy to embarrass. Well, of course I like you. You're sweet, caring, and cute. <laughs> I kissed her after I said it. She squeezed my hand tighter as I leaned in. It felt like the entire world melted away when I kissed her. I could taste the lip gloss on her lips, feel the breeze in the air. It was as if we were the only people in the entire universe at that moment. It just felt right. You're silly. You really couldn't tell I liked you. By the way, your mom has freaking amazing dresses, <laughs> and they look good on you. I'm not even well. All I know is I like you, Nami. That's good enough for me. I, I like you too, Aya. <laughs> yes. I waited for these words. I decided to kiss her one more time. I could still taste the peach flavor from her lip gloss. Shall we get going? I'm really looking forward to tonight now. So I took her hand and we walked down the street together, smiling at each other. We had a wonderful night, we just talked and talked. I was surprised to learn that Nami was a beer drinker. What? And looking forward to learning even more things about her in the future. Ah, uh, morning, Kaya. I'd been up for a while, today was the first day of tryouts. Morning, Mom. There is some tea and rice ready if you want. Mom made a grunting sound and went over to the kitchen. She's not the real human for the first little while after she gets in from work. Well, wait, wait. Well, I'm not entirely human after I wake up as well, to be honest. So, you could say, don't talk to me when I, like, not after breakfast and shower. Because... Because it's a bad idea, but I'd done my stretches and exercises and I was feeling good to go. So, you are all set for day. This is good, thank you. Yep, I'm all set. I'm in now in the tryouts. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask, how did your little date, na uh, date night go to the other day? Uh, uh, well, it was good. What? That's it? Good, that's all I get. Come on, Aya. Details! Details! Well, when we met up, she was in the gorgeous little dress and, well, she just ran up to me and kissed me. <coughs> really? Oh, Aya, that's so cute. Good for you. So, when do I get to meet her, huh? You have to bring her over sometime. Wait, I know, I have to night off. Why don't you bring her over after the tryout today? Well, I guess I have to see if she's busy. Oh, please. She's obviously kidding you. Just tell her to come, okay? Now. You get going, you don't want to be late now. Uh, what does she drink? Wine? Beer. Oh, I like her already. Okay, see you later. Good luck! <laughs> I like her already. Thank you. <laughs> Today's trial is for Hisamitsu. They're one of the top clubs right now and have really dominated for the past 10 years. This one certainly isn't going to be easy. Already? I guess I'm nervous. I don't really know what to expect. 
You'll be fine. Like I said, we'll likely go through some training drills, then be rotated in and out for a competitive game. It's not guaranteed we'll be playing together, so just do your best. I'm with you, okay? With that, she grabbed my hand and gave it a squeeze. I smiled back at her. Right, with you by my side, how can we lose? Well, that's not quite what I was going for, but close enough. We made our way through the school gate and toward the gym. Hall. It was a little strange being back like this. After all, our school time was now over. We wouldn't be attending classes here when they start in nearly a month. Now I'd set my mind to being a professional volleyball player. I get to I had to get my mind in the game. I squeezed the Namis hand in the transition as we entered the gym. I thought Yuka might appear out of nowhere. <laughs> it felt good to be back, like we were playing a home game against others. I recognized one or two of the players here from other school teams. Others seemed a bit older. Now me and I got signed in and started warming up in our usual spot. Alright, everyone, gather around. Thank you for taking this try out for Hisapitsu. As you know, we are a club with a rich history and the track record of success. We are looking for up and coming players who will add to our depth and become of the stars of tomorrow, ensuring we stay competitive for years to come. Of course, location and travel will be necessary as we are not based locally, but we can talk about all that when the time comes. Pick and me are the other members of my coaching team. We'll be putting you through your spaces today in a series of practice drills. After 30 minutes, we'll start two competitive games. Please line up as I call your name. Hafsegawa, line 1, Mizuki, line 2. Eventually, after all the names had been read, it looked like me and Nami were in separate groups. But this is just a practice drill, so hopefully we'll be together later. Okay, group 2, roof PP. If you're not familiar with passing drills, I'm here to get you familiar. Okay, you have to focus. This is what makes it count. The groups went through their exercise together. I sometimes got a brief glimpse of Nami from across the room. She got her serious face on. She was really going for it. I felt like I was doing well. Passing was the weakest part of my game, but I kept up with the others. We did a few different types of exercises, even some laps of the gym to test our fitness levels. I was ahead of the pack. I was in great shape. Good job everyone! Stir in your groups and line up on the benches. We'll be using these groups to play a couple of short competitive games. Crap, looks like we aren't going to be together after all. We will be substituted, uh, yeah, substituted in and out on the fly by our coaching team. We'll make sure everyone gets equal playing time. Let's get you lined up. The game itself went okay too. They put me on the right, which technique was out of position for me. But I set up a few good balls and made some key blocks. I was not the card with Nami. I was thankful for that. I can prepare myself for what might happen if we had to play against each other. After the trial, we all headed back to our locker room to get changed. So, how do you think you got done? Okay, I mean, I was out of position, but I did okay, I guess, yeah. yeah. I was wondering about that. Didn't you tell them you play in front? I didn't think I could. Should I have? Well, of course, but never mind. I'm sure you did well. The other players are really good. I was surprised at how high the level of the play was. Yeah, well, me too. It was tougher than I thought it would be. It's okay. Consider this warm-up. There's a lot more trials over the next couple of weeks. Right. I started getting changed, getting back into my regular clothing. All of a sudden, I realized I was standing there in my underwear. Nanami was obviously trying not to stare. She was blushing as usual. I was a little self conscious myself, but decided to just grin and bear it. Oh, come on, it's nothing you haven't seen before. Well, yeah, but now it's different. Different how? Don't make me say it! Sometimes her shyness got in the way of her communicating effectively. It really was adorable. I think I know what she was getting at, but I wanted to see how far I could take this. Nanami, I really have no idea what you mean. She came closer and whispered in my ear, hushed and quietly. Because you're really sexy! Now it was my turn for her face to get red. I giggled nervously and she giggled with me. Now it's your turn. What? Huh? You're too easy to embarrass, Nami. It's so cute. Hey, no fair. Oh, shoot. I just forgot my mod said you should come over for dinner tonight. Are you free? Well, I'd love to. That sounds like fun. You always talk about her. Good. She really wants to meet you. Wait, so she... Yeah, I told her. 
I noticed everyone else had filtered down the locker room while we were talking. It was just us. I mean, you're my girlfriend, right? Right! She had a huge smile on, my fa on her face. She was absolutely beaming. If you're going for dinner with your mom, for, you should probably get dressed. Right. Right. Right, we laughed, finished changing and headed back to my house. We held hands while we walked, the sun was riding down on us and it was a beautiful day, and without much awkwardness I had a girlfriend to introduce to my mom. Today was turning out to be pretty special. Nice! Mom had been busy, I could smell food. The chances of her having cooked it herself, however, were very, very low. Come in! Welcome to my home, Nanami! Goodness, so very traditional. Rental parts in Tokyo are so modern. It's been a long time since I've been in a traditional home. I feel like I should be wearing a fancy kata or something. Uh, I have one you can borrow. You look adorable in your kata. <laughs> Hiya, is that you? Yeah, it's us. Welcome, welcome. Only the, the grandpa is missing, kind of. Hi, I'm Nanami Habihara. Nice to meet you. She gave a bow. It was adorable. I had forgotten she was all about airs and graces in front of new people. You got to make sure she's relaxed, otherwise she'd be a nervous wreck. Man, this is my girlfriend, Nanami. Well now, why are you didn't call me? Tell me she was so polite, but no need for that here, sweetheart. Call me Rekka. I've been wanting to meet you for so long, Nami-chan. Can I get you beer? Yes, please. Good girl, sit, sit, let me... Make a fuss over you. Help yourselves to the food. I was right, definitely take out, but I'm not complaining. It's not often we go to eat fancy sushi like this. Is this from your work, ma'am? Sure is. Now make sure Nami gets some of the fatty tuna. It's to die for. As mom went in the kitchen to grab drinks, I was buried in Nami's ear. Hey, you think okay? Yeah, just was nervous, I guess. This is nice for isn't it? Kinda feels like we're a normal couple. We are a normal couple, silly. Right, here you are. Drink up, girls. Cheers! I could tell Mom was really relishing the opportunity to be asked and have a few drinks with us. Mom was right. This was nice, and it did feel like we were just a normal couple. Cheers! We sat back and started making a dent in the sushi planter Mom had laid out for us. It was delicious always. So many different kinds <clears throat> of rolls. Mom was right. That you know was amazing. This delicious is your call. I imagine this came from your workplace. Are you, Jeff? <laughs> oh no, dear. I had that all the cooking at home. I'm a hostess there, but I take my job very seriously. Oh, so I had do you do all the cooking at home? Maybe you can give me some tips. I'm not exactly the best cook. Of course I can. I leaned over and quickly kissed her on the cheek. She's so cute when she gets shy. I just can't help myself. Then mom let out a squeal of delight. <laughs> You two are too cute! Okay, we need to take a photo right now! She whipped out her smartphone and started snapping. Nam looked away nervously, but she couldn't hide the red glow that came over her face. Oh, come on now! Nami, no need to be shy! Get a little closer! <coughs> I need a kiss her on cheek again, and Nami put her arm around me and smiled for the camera. There we are! Oh, you two are so adorable! Nanami stayed close to me while we ate at the rest of the sushi and continued drinking. Mom occasionally giggled and snapped another photo of us. You girls need another drink! Oh, I'll go get some. Sit back down, Nanami, your guest. You stay right where you are. Then she got up and skipped to the kitchen. She was really enjoying this. Your mom is really nice, Aya. She's not too much to handle. She shook her head and smiled at me. No, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. I, it was her turn to kiss me on the cheek and my turn to blush. I laid my head on her shoulder and snuggled into her. She was warm and I could smell a hint of coconut from her hair. Oh, okay, stay right there. One more photo. We continued to drink and the room was filled with laughter. Mom told stories of customers at her job and we told mom about today's tryout. After a few drinks, more drinks, my mom suggested Nami should stay the night. Mm -hmm. Just no funny business, okay? I need my beauty sleep. Well, let's face it, that beauty sleep is making is working miracles. 
I'm telling you that I ask mom is the best girl in the game. <laughs> now I'm going to get ready for bed. Nanami and I looked at each other and giggled. Fruitfully, I hadn't fallen from that far ahead. For I was certainly thinking about it now. It's a good thing Nami has her own place. We finished our drinks and got ready for bed. We had extra bedding, so Nami had her own place to sleep. After we finished setting up, Nami came over to me, put her hands on my waist and whispered into my ear. I wish you were at my place and not at yours, then have you all to myself. Nice. Nice. Really nice. I immediately got butterflies in my stomach. Obviously, the drinks had given her a little more courage. I responded by getting a little close to her. As Tommy is also taller than me, I couldn't help but have my e eyes dra drawn in the direction of her breasts. <clears throat> that would be very nice right now. Tommy leaned in and kissed me. I could taste the beer on her breath as her tongue touched mine. I pressed up against her and kissed her deeper. I ran my hand up the crease in the middle of her back. Hey, no funny business. Honestly, girls, <laughs> the police are right. Me and Nanami giggled at each other and got ourselves ready for bed. As I lay down trying to sleep, I realized it was the first time I've ever spent an entire day with Nanami. That was a comforting thought as I drifted off to sleep. And let's actually, let's let's end. I don't know. We can, can we end? I don't know how long is it. Like, how much time, how much time is it until the end, because, well, we have the girl. Okay, let's continue, whatever. I was the first to wake, and I was still asleep. Well. But the dog woke up actually and was making a bit of noise. So, yeah. Well, I say the first. Looks like Pump has already started her day. Strange, she's really the one to sleep in. And I don't hear her anywhere. Uh, maybe she's trying to give us a long time? After all, she doesn't know about Nanami's living situation. Nanami, good morning. I lean over and kiss her gently on her forehead. Uh, good morning. Did you sleep well? Yeah, thanks. Would you like some tea? Sure, but can I take a shot first? I feel like I could use one. Sure, I'll come with you and grab some towels and stuff for you. I rolled up the footings loosely and placed them by the side of the room. I set up the kettle and took Nanami toward the bathroom. So, feel free to use any of the shampoo you find. I'll show you where the towels are. I opened the door and saw the last thing I expected to see. Oh, that was my mom. All was entirely naked in front of me and none. Well, that was high ass mom. <laughs> For a sp split second, we all froze in place while the reality of the situation set in. Another split second later, it all kicked off. Mom yelled in surprise, but didn't really try too hard to cover herself up. He said she just looked at, up, at us disapprovingly and said, Do you mind? I get in change here, girls. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> With that, we shut the door and ran away as fast as we could. It's not the first time myself and mom have crossed paths in the bathroom, but it's the first time we've company. <laughs> Awkward doesn't even begin to describe it. The worst part is that I was wrong about mom giving us a long time, but I suppose that can be helped. <laughs> Nami smiled at me and then started laughing. It was infectious and I started laughing too. Oh my god, that was so impressive. I know, right? I was tight. Now, I know where your curves come from, Maya. Nanami! What? You're my girlfriend. I'm allowed to compliment you. We start laughing again, this time uncontrollably. If we were on the floor, I'm sure we'd be rolling around like idiots. After a while, Mom came out of the bathroom and Nami went to take a shower. I do hope you will remember to knock next time, Aya. I didn't think you were home. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Nanami certainly is cute. I can see why you like her so much, Aya. You two really make a good couple. You don't mind. Mind what? The blank expression mom's face said it all. 
Surely you didn't care that I was taking care. I would never really discuss that sort of thing. And I guess now I know why. Mom simply doesn't care. I'm probably not quite lucky. I bet no one, everyone, not everyone has it this easy. If I had a kid, okay, if, let's say, if I had a daughter, would I care if she liked girls? No, definitely not. If I had a son, would I care if he liked guys? I don't think so. So, does it mean I don't care as well? <laughs> Probably. It does make me happy for. Never mind, mom. I'm going to walk them back to the train station, okay? Sure, sweetie. I have some laundry to do before work today. You girls go have fun. Shortly afterward, Nami and I said our goodbyes to mom and we headed to the station. Hey, I really had fun last night, you know? Thank you. Uh, you're welcome, I just like spending time with you like that. I know we've been pretty busy recently, but it was nice to take some time off. Yeah, it was. Well, what are you doing for the rest of the day? I'm sorry, I have work to catch up on. With the tryouts, I've not had much time for it. They've been relying on me, and now I'm behind on my work. You should have said, if you were busy, you didn't need to... Mm. I really like you, Aya. Yes! I like you too, Nanami. <laughs> I gave her a quick kiss. She smiled back at me. I got the feeling that this was becoming something special. Mail me later, okay? Yeah. Okay, I will, I promise. I watched her walk to her platform and made my own way back home. And I think this is the moment to end the episode. We'll see how basically this whole story we're... We're we will develop for now hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one bye bye